we are about to see a massive surge and a complete landscape shift in AI because just a few months ago, every single person on my feed was talking about how AI is going to crash, AI is going to be gone in literally two years. What if a Chinese lab somehow comes in and completely cuts off big tech and says, you know what, we can make a smarter, more efficient model and you having the power to throw GPUs at the wall and have billions of dollars to throw at the wall, that isn't essentially a superpower anymore because the barrier to entry is getting a lot lower and now people that don't have billions of dollars to waste can also create frontier leading AI models now too. I need you to think of an AI model like a giant building with a bunch of floors and information needs to travel from the ground all the way to the roof in order for it to produce an answer. Traditionally, AI uses something called residual connections. This is like having a single reliable elevator that goes straight up through every single floor. It's really safe and it keeps information from getting lost, but it's thin. Only so much information can actually be handled at once. So recently, researchers tried something called hyperconnections, which is basically putting these elevators in parallel so that they can contain more information and it makes the model a lot smarter. Problem was that without these crazy strict rules, these models and these elevators, they started crashing into each other at high speeds, which made them crash and really inefficient. The AI would explode or crash your trading because the data became way too chaotic. A new manifold constrained hyperconnections way, what it does is it's having multiple elevators except with guardrails so that it's not going all chaotic, but it's still a lot cheaper and smarter. The rule is that you can move data between different elevators at the same time, but you only have to make sure that there's a specific amount of energy and information that can travel at once so that it doesn't exceed that capacity. Everything must stay perfectly balanced. That's a critical breakthrough. The model can move all of this information from the ground floor to the roof a lot faster because of the multiple different elevators in parallel, but it still has strict guardrails so that it doesn't crash and explode. The reason that this matters right now is because it's a lot cheaper to build. When you're training these models, you don't have to restart these failed projects because it doesn't crash or explode as much. Companies are wasting millions of dollars in restarting these failed projects. The efficiency is also really important because it makes the model only 6% heavier to train, but it makes it significantly more intelligent. Other thing is that it has better reasoning, which means that the AI can think through problems a lot better than before. Now, the reason that this is so great for a lot of the smaller AI companies is because Previously in the past, we've had this simple equation that the more GPU that you throw and the more capacity that a company has to be able to afford GPU, the more smart AI models that they can make. But now that's not true and that's why the NVIDIA stock is crashing right now so much because investors are realizing, wait a second, we're investing in a hardware company but AI is getting smarter software where hardware is not that useful anymore. What MHC does is it allows smaller players to also have a say and a position in the global AI arms race and that's why it's not this whole competition over chips anymore because it's like if you can use MHCs, if you can use smarter software, then why would you need to invest in hardware? Why would you need to make these models so unnecessarily expensive to run when there are alternatives that are coming up? We're seeing a shift from size to the intelligence per dollar. Previously, big tech had only focused on making models more smart by increasing their parameters. MHC proves that you can raise the ceiling of how smart a model is not by making it bigger but by changing its internal geometry in order to fit that. This doesn't mean that you need to add more parameters, you need to throw more GPU at the wall. No, you need to make sure that this model is running on efficient internal geometry. Companies like OpenAI and Google DeepMind are now under serious pressure because they have to prove that their models are not just bigger, but they're also more efficient, which takes significant time. Because MHC makes making these high-end training models way more accessible and stable, it's really expected to lead to a surge of high-quality open weight models which really challenges the closed door business models of a lot of companies like OpenAI where a lot of these smaller developers that didn't have as much of a budget they couldn't get in and actually create a really high quality frontier model but now they can do that because training it is not nearly as expensive as it was before because of the fact that they just adjusted the internal geometry instead of just throwing more GPUs at the wall I've said that five times now but yeah that's what they've done.